Well, let's talk now to Charles Jenkins, who's a Western European analyst with the Economist's Intelligence Unit and joins me now from our central London studio. Thanks so much for joining us. Good evening. Um, let's start with Ireland. How differently is the crisis in Ireland playing compared to that in Greece? Well, Ireland is, is very different from Greece in that uh, the real crisis has been one of the Irish banks. Uh, they have a difficult fiscal situation, but they were getting on top of that, but they've been completely undermined by the collapse of most of the Irish banking sector, uh, and that, that is what has added to more than double their deficit to 37% this year and made them, uh, in the end, reluctantly request aid from Europe uh, and the IMF. I mean, is there a feeling that proper structural reform in Ireland is going to take a lot longer in the longer term? Uh, well, it doesn't need quite the same kind of structural reform as Greece because it, it, it had been a well-functioning economy. It had been doing remarkably well. I mean, it's the Celtic Tiger and it had been performing incredibly well until three years ago. Uh, and there's some pretty good features of the economy still there. But it, it did start living beyond its means and it did um, make serious mistakes in terms of both government finance and, and banking expansion. And there is now a need for a period of, of severe contraction. I mean, we've been told today that Greece looks like it's making progress. Is there evidence, do you think, that, that what has happened to get it out of trouble, that plan is working and that the gamble has paid off? Well, I think it's too early to say the gamble has paid off. It's unfortunately got a, a five-year marathon to run and it's just run about the first six months of it. But it's done quite well during that period, I think it has to be said, and it seems that it can get, it will get its deficit down from 15.4% in the latest estimate last year to about 9.4% this year, six percentage points, which is a lot more than almost any other country in the European Union. So it certainly made a good start, but it's only the beginning. Okay, Charles Jenkins, good to talk to you. Thank you very much Thank indeed. You